Good morning, everyone. It's Beverly Cole, and I'm here in my RV studio again. Let me put a light on. That's better. Got my coffee and my project box. This has turned out to be a very handy item. I bought this years ago to keep my Cricut mats in, which don't fit. So it sat in my closet for a while until I realized that it made a really great box to take projects in when I'd go to Carleen's or now that I'm in my RV. So what I did was take the uh, ephemera on things that I had brought through in a bag. I, I didn't know what to bring. I didn't know what to leave home. And that's a challenge in itself and you need to be a little more creative with the less things you have. These are all organized by color. Um, color is apparently something that is important to me in my collages as I automatically just organize things by color. So this is all vintage color and these are images from Gecko Gals and I have a variety of papers over here that I haven't put in there, vintage papers. I keep them in a box on the side here, things that I've dyed or or haven't. So that is the vintage color, but I also have underneath my mat, if I can just move my coffee for a moment, let's put it on the counter over here. Ooh. Underneath this mat, that's my substrate. I have all of this. So this also is uh, vintage colors. So let's look at the next color family. This one, purples and pinks. So I have some of my jelly plate papers, some of my ephemera that I printed off from my kits. Then underneath that one, I have my yellow layer, which some of the papers, oops, that goes over there. Some of the papers in this could also be used with the, with the other kit, depending on how I feel when it comes time to do that. And then underneath here, I have extra things. When you're organizing, it means you need to make choices. So I'm choosing to move on with my vintage because I love vintage, you know I love vintage. And we will make a focal point using cardboard. Like I said, the first thing I usually do is rip it into a shape. I did hearts mostly, but these days I'm kind of liking the, the rectangular, but I don't throw any of that away. It's all saved <laughs> in my little boxer. Okay. I think that's good. Let's use that. So I have a variety of paper, dark with some background. We could go intuitive or we could plan. Being on this trip has been so much fun so far. Things are really different when you're working in an RV in a tiny space. Yesterday I got this up at the office mistakenly picked up two of them but once I got back here and looked at it like well maybe I'm really glad that I picked up two hmm, I don't know I think I'm going to save that for a page in my journal it's still, and I don't want to mess up the other one so I'm going to go ahead and cut her out and these are my Tim Holtz scissors I turned him on yesterday uh, on YouTube to watch his um, studio tour it was late at night. I had eaten a coffee bar that I baked and they have chocolate chips and coffee in them. Not the best thing to eat before you go to bed. So I was just wide awake and watched, oh, at least half of Tim Holt's studio tour. But I never realized how fast he talks and how much he talks. And I was just, it, it actually tired me out and I was ready to go to sleep. I'm going to use this letter here. Yesterday we went thrifting and I actually found some really cool things at a thrift store. And I mean, I paid like nothing for them. 10 cents or 99 cents for a whole pack of something. I bought these for a whole pack of these for 99 cents. And these are those envelopes they put on the outside of packages where the invoice goes. But they're big stickers. The whole back is a sticker. So I thought, you know, these would be 
really interesting to use, perhaps something to keep ephemera in. So I got a whole ton of them, look at that. And then I also got a bunch of these. These were also 99 cents. And these are for a Rolodex, which I don't have, but if I find one at a thrift store or a yard sale, then I can go ahead and make little paintings on these. So that'll be fun. What else did I find? found? Oh yeah, ruler for 10 cents, 10 cent ruler. Shatterproof, <laughs> I don't know, made in China. So it's not exactly vintage, but that's okay, I don't care. And then my husband brought home some vegetables yesterday in a paper bag and I'm like, paper bag, oh, I can use that. You know, it's a challenge here in this little space, but that's the fun. That's the fun part of being in the RV studio. Oh, you know what else I have? A little tiny piece of cheesecloth. Here it is. Yeah, look how cute. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm crazy. I, I separated all of my um, colored painted papers and by color, the purple, and yellow. Oh, I have some really creamy ones in here I think might be pretty. That's pretty, it's just painted paper. Or this one. Mm, that's prettier. I like that one better. This. So let's see what we have in the turquoise envelope. I'm just noticing here, there's some turquoise in this print. So I'm thinking maybe just a strip of turquoise paper. Yeah, that's pretty. Or maybe something a little bit more. No. Isn't it funny how you can just look at certain things and know right off it? bothers me, right? Hmm. You know, I think I'm just liking it with all the neutrals. That doesn't mean that's how it'll stay forever, however. Of course, it's my old favorite, yellow, but... Or spiced marmalade. Ooh, that one gave me goosebumps. I have a feeling that's the one I should use. These are those paint daubers. Now, using paint on these, I really need to change the mat on my table. So before I do my next video, I'm going to change this out for the big paper pad that I brought of newsprint to use as my under paper so that I can glue and paint and wipe brushes and stuff off without making too much of a mess. So I did bring some burnt umber paint, but, but I have vintage photo uh, distress crayons. So I'm thinking, I wonder how that would work on the edges of these pictures just to color them a bit. But I also have a water brush. So I'm gonna see if I can just, ooh, yeah. See, now this is just regular the copy paper and you don't wanna get it too wet. This is very interesting. This is like a challenge to be in the RV and not have everything that I have in my art room at home. Makes you have to be more creative. So see, instead of using what I usually use, I used my Distress Crayon and that worked. So far, so good. I did bring my Fabri-Tac glue. So I'm just gonna put some of this right around here. It doesn't have to hold it down forever because when, once I coat it, everything will be stuck forever. I'm gonna try not to think too hard. Maybe I should put this behind her. Oh, I don't know, I'll just rip it a little more. One thing I also have to deal with in here is my cats. They like to be up high and they like to look out the windows. So they like to sit on my art table. They also like to play. So if I leave things out, so far it's not been bad, but I feel a little concerned that eventually they're gonna wanna start playing with my spoof. So yeah, first I start with papers. And I love torn edges. She doesn't have torn edges, but that's okay. Still works. I try not to think too hard about anything. My husband's down with the laundry. It is the weekend now. And so that's probably, I thought it would be busier at the laundromat, but apparently when a lot of people come for the weekend, they don't have any laundry yet. <laughs> We've been here a week, so we have laundry. So this will go here. And the thing with this stuff is it behaves better once it's wet. Let's do some color. You know me and green, I just love green lately. I'm gonna use some green. Although the top of this one is worn thin. These are my old ones. How about we try the Rusty Hinge first because this is new, a new one. Well, this is the reason you can see where I am. I'm in my RV 
I'm using things that keep everything neat. Got my water brush, so I don't need a glass of water. And also, in the RV, you don't want to be putting any kind of paint or glue down the drain. So everything that I use, after I wipe all the paint off, all my brushes and everything, I take them out in a bucket and I wash them outside. <gasps> Whoa, see that? Oh, wow. Love that. Love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. Paint right there. Now, this is acrylic, so it will dry permanently. And since I don't want to make a giant mess, I need a scrap paper. I need to just wipe the rest of this paint off on there. You don't want to leave acrylic paint on your water brush, for sure, for sure. Because it will get it all hard and ruined. So I just squeeze out till it's pure water. And then I'm done with that. And I've made another piece of ephemera or fodder. Now I need to add some other elements. So we will look for more cardboard. Ooh, yeah, I think that will work. Something else three-dimensional to add to add texture. Add that. So odd that I'm using this glue. I don't usually use it for this kind of stuff, but it's working. It's working and it's sticking. Okay, so what's our little story here? She's missing her lover. She's writing letters and thinking. Mm hmm. You know I have some of my torn. <laughs> you know what I have. You know I have these. And there's some green. Ooh. As funny as it is, I think I like that one the best right there. So that's where it's going. I just love it. I love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, it's a little top heavy. Well, this has got a lot of layers. And it's thick. But that's okay. I still do have tiny pieces. And when you're making something tiny, tiny pieces can work. Oh, sugar. How did that happen? <laughs> okay, well, I just noticed that for a lot of this video, I had my camera over on the side. Somehow it got twisted over there. I'm not sure how much of it, but I'm so sorry. Um, I've been building her and adding cheesecloth and different elements. I'm so sorry you missed that. Oh, my gosh. But um, we're going to continue with this. After I check and see how much of this you've missed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How silly is that? So I'm outside. And George has already just started cleaning up, picked up our mat, rinsed it off. And he is doing laundry while I do this. And I decided I'm going to look for some sticks for my piece. I'm going to see if I can find something interesting to add. Hmm, these are kind of interesting. These little sticks right here, kind of just broken off. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. It has some kind of fungus growing on it. Look, the leaves are so interesting. Look at these leaves, how curly they are. Really pretty. Okay, okay, back to the subject at hand. We want a stick. I'm gonna take this one too, and then take them in and see what we can do with them. Oh darn, I held my camera the wrong way, oh well. I have tightened my camera so it will not move again. I noticed you didn't miss too much, which is good. This is the piece of the branch that I decided to use. So once again, <gasps> oh my goodness, that drawer is so squeaky. Oh no, I put my glue over there to make it nice and easy to use, and I'm gonna use again some of the beacon just to kind of uh, secure my branch when i go over that i'll probably use elmer's glue i use elmer's glue a lot it dries with a kind of a sheen but it will also hold everything in place yeah i like that i like that branch i've tried it all different places and this is what i decided i like the best 